In this video, I'm going to show you the latest features of Photoshop 24 latest version. I'm using even the beta version that has a bit more features already, but I will point out when or what is not available in the actual um, rollout of uh, Photoshop 24. So the first feature I share with you is the one click delete. We know when you make a selection and want to do a content aware fill, uh, you don't get the real re the good results. You need to expand your selection and then you can make the content aware fill. But now this is new in this version. So let's take the object selection tool and we just take a frame of it. It's not too bad. The selection here is a little bit bug, but for this tutorial or for this uh, info, I'm going to leave it like so. So let's activate this selection. And so we have it now, we click on it. If we have even more or more uh, objects in our photo, you can use this little button here and you get them all selected in one time. But however, if you have now a right click, you can say delete the selection and fill, content fill, one click. So it does really a good job, I would say. And for one click, not too bad. We probably have to fix here a little stuff, but looks not too bad. The second feature, which is only available in beta yet, is the multi-image content where fill. Let's do the same again. We make a selection of around the deer. And then instead of right click, one about uh, uh, the one click selection delete, we go to um, edit and then we say content aware fill now you get this dialogue and basically it's doing a good job but forever for whatever reason maybe you have a similar picture you're already taken which you can just choose from which has no deer in it or in this case that's what i'm going to do and you get that We don't want that. I make that bit change that for you. So it's basically a reference photo. This is not going to work. So, however, it takes a reference photo without a deer to make it better. As it, as I wouldn't, you wouldn't have one. So, if you have a a photo of a landscape without a deer, I would take it because he has more information. So that's a new feature. Currently, I don't. I think it needs some more improvement because it still works so good without that um, initial photo. Um, so, but if you have more or more complicated details, that might work a bit better. The next filter I'm going to show you is live Gaussian blur. Currently, I actually can't show you because it's only working in the beta and on a Mac. So this I'm on a PC currently, but I'm going to tell you what it does. So you go to filter, Gaussian blur. And then you have here live Gaussian blur. Take the normal one. So currently you can check your focus here and it does what it does. You get a little a box here and you can change the box amount and the fade opacity. And you have a preview. So you can you have a preview what you will get when you apply it to the Gaussian blur. Pretty cool. The next new thing is the share button. Unfortunately, it's here a bit cropped. I can either share it with someone to work on the same document that's here, or I can share it just for someone to check what I made. Then the other person just gets like a paper in the cloud and can make notes on it, what to change or make a comment. And I get the comments back here. So I'm not going to show that here in the little file because it's taking too much um, time to to make this. However, if someone comments the document, for example, your client, you see it here and you comment back, can comment back. Or even as I said, you can also share it to share the same document for working on the same document if you need to, for example, for a client and can do it here. Unfortunately, I can't see because it's um, hidden in behind that little tool because I made the, uh, the window a little bit smaller. So the next feature is you have materials, substance 3D materials. You get that little icon if you go to Window and change uh, select Material. Then you have access to material from Substance 3D and can texture your stuff. For it. 
but you need to have the Substance um, collection or you can use the community assets, we are basically free. Another thing is that we got new neural filters. Go to filter, neural filters. And here you have the neural filters you probably know. And um, you can download them by just checking these little icons, you can download them. And what we're going to change now, or what we're going to use now, is the, that one here. We reconstruct an image, an old image. So let's hit that button and just to get it and it downloads it from the cloud. So let me check if I can just make that a little bit smaller here. Did you get anything to see? Let me take that one to the side here. So this is a live preview. So if you slide here, it tries to make a better result. Here under this section you can make even more um, improvements and just check what works for your file. Just hit OK for the moment and see how that looks like. Oh, that's pretty weird. So let me see what is before and after. In this um, version, Photoshop beta version, actual, the actual version uh, uh, for Windows user, you have a new uh, settings, possibility for settings, and um, it's how Photoshop works with uh, making selections. You can choose either faster or more stabilized, I think it's the word for it. So basically, it makes it faster for um, selections and for changing skies. For replacing skies and this works only or makes sense if you have a, a NVIDIA GPU. The next feature is life gradients. So when you uh, choose the gradient tool and let's take the gradient tool and we choose another color. Doesn't matter what, just to show you it's fine. So now if we don't need even to make a layer now. So when we now take a gradient, we have a gradient on a layer, which is editable, not a fixed layer, not a pixel layer like before. So when you click on those buttons, you can choose another color and see what you get. Same here. Take the red one. And you want to make new points, you just, just, just click on on this um, on this line when you get the plus hit that new color and let's take another one like so same you get here in the properties panel you have here and you can change like you know it probably before anytime This feature, by the way, is only available in the beta version, in the actual, that not in the normal version rollout for uh, version 424. Another new neural filter, also only running, running in the beta version of Photoshop, is um, working with artificial intelligence. It makes new backgrounds according to, um, that's like making a description for what you want to have. So it's in the creative section, all filters creative section here. We have it, I'm just going to show you that in full. So it's called um, making a background. And here you say, um, I want to have, have, for example, um, city. Then you just be describing what you want to see. And I, in my opinion, it's very much a better version because the, the result is not really what I want to see. And by the way, on the right uh, right corner, on the bottom, you see this little icon. When you click on this, you get new variation based on the selected picture. For example, I can take that one and just hit OK. Of course, I made already a selection of myself. So here is the 
the result. Ah, it's pretty, not too much. Not bad, but however. Uh, I think it's more, you can, it has some improving potential, I would say. But also, when you are on the same layer, I just do it again. Go it again, neural filters. You have the possibility, let's make that on, to go to the hands and to find some here, some examples which you can use and make some other stuff of it. For example, let's take that one and let's close this window and it gives you um, more selections or more um, creations on the, the prompt here. And we can choose here the size and gives you new results. That's a cool thing. You don't uh, you don't lose the lower ones. So let's take this up then just to show you how that works. Here we go. By myself. So that's what you can use it. I think it has potential, uh, but it definitely needs to get better. One more feature. If you are a Windows 11 user, if you go to this icon here, you have now the possibility to, to create the windows. So if you do that, you can't see it because uh, it's another format for this now. Um, however, uh, you can get, do that uh, with the windows because you can share and, and I don't mean split windows, working with multiple windows uh, for your Photoshop. Next, some new features within Camera Raw. Filter, so you go to Filter and then Camera Raw. So here, in the Adjustment section, you won't see too much. But now what you can go to the Masking tool. Here we go. So if there will be more than one person, you should, there will be pop up here all of them. So you mask them with one click. And for just each person you can do, you can just do it for the whole um, person adjustment. It's just making the mask. Or probably you just want to choose the face or the eyebrows or whatever, lips, I think they're red enough, or hair. Um, you can make it make a mask only on these um, parts of a face or on the whole position, on the whole person. And what is also possible, if you have um, more than one selected here, you can get here two separate masks on it. For example, I want to change my, yeah, maybe this two. So let's make two separate and do that. So I have two here. I have the, the white in the eyes and here I have the skin. Now I can make selections and I can also, I got a new curves, curve tool I got. And um, that's what, this is pretty new. And that's the really cool thing on it. And also, let me show you something else. When you open it, you got the, the possibility to make the selection according to this mask preview. So you have the motif, or this is a kind of person, or, or like an animal, sky, or the background. Let's change background, and I can make here, for example, I want to make brighter or darker, whatever. It's pretty fast. Here you have the possibility to, to subtract something from the mask or to uh, make more, to uh, apply more to the mask, to the curved mask. Or maybe you want to select your objects your own. Then you go to Objects. You have here a selection tool, free selection tool, or here like a, a square. So what I do that, I want to select my face and my head, so I can do it like this. Also new is a reparation to remove blemishes. Crazy thing is if I see make visible blemishes, crazy, huh? However, if you choose that one, that means you can, this is a new one. It removes it um, with one click. So I would say not too bad. And I really can, um, that the new camera raw filter uh, is really, really strong and is super fast. Then we also have some AI filters. I don't know if you know those. They are actually not that new, but maybe you haven't known that you have it, but they are really cool. So for example, 
the sky the background here for my photo I want to have a bluish tone one click and I have the bluish tone well let me show the dark tone it's gonna it's very very bulky here the better version on my computer but I just want to show you those they are really really interesting one click we have the blue one really like the blue one here so these are really worth checking out we also have AI filters for the face for uh, people uh, you might check this out too and um, I really like that it's so fast and gives you also for inspiration a really good idea of it